Hi, my name is Sam Campbell. I'm 28 and I am a professional dancer. I'm from the Gold Coast, Australia and trained at the Australian Dance Performance Institute in Brisbane. I've been dancing for about 17 years and 10 professionally. I've worked for Royal Caribbean. I have spent most of my time though with the Walt Disney Company. I started at Tokyo Disneyland Resort and have spent most of my time um, on Disney Cruise Line doing shows like Aladdin the Musical, Tangle the Musical, Frozen the Musical, all the musicals. <laughs> Some of my career highlights, I think, have been working for Disney. Uh, you know, when you're dancing behind uh, Mickey and Minnie, uh, it's, they're two of the most like recognizable characters in the whole entire world. Um, that and getting to like do fun roles like Prince Charming, Captain Hook, um, Frollo, Captain Jack Sparrow, so many like fun roles like that um, have definitely been some of the highlights. But most recently, opening Frozen on Disney Cruise Line um, was one of the coolest things because, you know, it was a creative process from the start of its inception, uh, the teching of the show, and to the final product. So that was very cool. One of the best things about being a performer, I think, is the ability to not only be able to express and get joy from the art itself, it kind of comes through you and then you're able to give that back. It is such a wonderful thing to see people leaving the theatre buzzing, so excited that you're coming off such a high after they've seen a show and I think that to me is probably the best thing about being a performer is that like you're a part of that. You are directly involved in making other people feel good. COVID and I have had a tricky relationship with mental health. Some days I'm really good, some days I'm really bad, but there has been definitely a silver lining to it all. I like to say that I'm positive most of the time, but sometimes it can just get so overwhelming when you're like, oh my gosh, when is my life gonna go back to how it was? Or when am I gonna get back onto a stage? Like, you know, no job, no income, no purpose. Purpose is a huge thing. It's what we all desire in life because without any purpose, it just feels like you're running around on a hamster wheel. So most days I'm pretty good, but definitely have those moments. To cope during this time, I have reconnected with the community around me. Uh, so many dancers have returned from overseas, so it's all my friends, which has been a beautiful blessing uh, because you never see everyone at the same time or never, no one's ever home at the same time. Uh, that has been keeping me busy. I like to go to cafes, drink almond milk lattes, avocado on toast. Uh, but I also love to train. I'm doing reformer Pilates, yoga, a lot of dance classes to keep my training. In fact, I feel better now at 28 than I did when I was 24. And I feel as though my legs are going higher and my jumps better, my turns better, everything is better. Um, so that has been really good to sort of refocus. So that's been keeping me pretty busy. When we're allowed to travel again, I'd love to go to France um, and Europe and explore some opportunities over there, perhaps London. Uh, I'd love to go back and do some work with Disney. I'd love to potentially work in Japan. Uh, the world is literally my oyster. Most performers go overseas to work, A, because, you know, luxurious destination, that's fun. But B, primarily, and foremost, I think the biggest issue is there is no work here in Australia. You know, there's no arts hub. You know, we have big cities that can hold you know, musicals and stuff like that. But think about London West End, New York Broadway, 
Paris has so many massive shows that have been there for hundreds of years. And we don't have anything like that. And it's such a shame because the appreciation for arts has really dwindled. And what people don't realize is art is so many things. It is TV, books, galleries, um, theater, cabarets, creative writing, media. It's all art. Anything that requires some sort of creative manifestation and has to be expressed into the world is art. And, you know, think about when we first existed. Art has been a huge part of our lives and it connects us and brings us joy and brings us all together and centers us, I think. For me, without art, especially music and dance, it would be a very dull, dull world. We're coming back. We're not going anywhere. There's too many of us with too much creative power and energy that we can't just go nowhere. It won't happen. And uh, by supporting each other, I think that's going to be the most important thing. So when something does happen, a show pops up, go and see it, go get a ticket, you know, support each other, support the industry. Um, Cause it will make a huge difference and what you give is what you get. So, yeah.